Well, as you can probably tell, it's time to replace the exterior door in our project house shop with this new door. Unfortunately, the old door is a non-standard height, so we had Carpenter and Angle cut it down. Let's see how we did it. Manufacturers typically allow wood doors to be trimmed by half an inch at the top and one and a half inches at the bottom. Generally, it's easier to cut a door from the top as you won't have to remove the weather strip. But in this case, we need to remove about one and a half inches. More than can be safely removed from the top, so we're cutting the bottom. Take the door out of its frame by removing any packing materials and driving out the hinge pins. Place the door on a surface that won't scratch with the exterior of the door facing up so the hinges won't interfere with the saw. Then use a 5-in-1 tool to carefully pry off the sweep. Use a shooting board to guide the circular saw to make the cut. This one is made from two pieces of quarter inch plywood. There's a fence and a base. It's made wider than the saw base and trimmed before its first use. Once trimmed, the shooting board lines up with the saw blade. Mark the amount you want to cut from the door on both edges. There's no guesswork about where to place the shooting board. Its edge is at the edge of the saw cut, easing layout and minimizing chipping. Line up the shooting board with the marks and clamp it in place. Then, use the shooting board as a guide to score the door with a sharp utility knife to further prevent chipping. Use a circular saw with the guide to cut the door. Sand the edges of the cut to clean off any fuzz. Then use spray adhesive and staples or small screws to reattach the sweep. Before removing the sill, screw a spreader to the jam legs to temporarily hold the frame together. Disassemble the bottom door frame by cutting the staples with an oscillating multi-tool. Use care so you don't damage anything that shows. You'll need to shorten the frame by the same amount as you did the door. Mark the sill angle first, and then the jam length. Then, cut the jams to length. The next step is to notch the jam legs to receive the sill. Adjust the circular saw to the proper depth using the rabbet on the side jam for guidance. Then, make a series of cuts across the jam. Finally, clean up the cuts with a chisel. Now it's time to reattach the jams to the sill. Apply a liberal amount of sealant to the end of the sill and reattach the jam with stainless steel screws one side at a time. Rehang the door in the frame. Use your toe to help align the door with the hinges, and you're ready to install the unit, just like any other pre-hung door. And that's how you cut down a pre-hung door.